In the event of a power outage, disconnect the nozzle connection cable and the auxiliary fan connection cable. Loosen the timing belt adjuster. Remove the auxiliary fan assembly. Remove both ends of the timing belt from the X-axis backplate. Remove the four POM wheels on the X-axis. Alternatively, if there are two POM wheels with eccentric isolation pillars, adjust them to the loosest state, the state with the most wobbling, and remove only the top two POM wheels. Remove the two M4 screws on the X-axis, then use these two screws to secure the X-beam. Use M36 screws to secure the linear guide to the X-beam. Use M35 screws to secure the X-bracket to the slider. Use M56 screws to secure the nozzle assembly to the X-bracket. Secure both ends of the timing belt to the X-axis backplate. Use M4 screws, M435 for Neptune 4, M440 for Neptune 4 Plus and Max, to secure the auxiliary fan assembly to the X-beam. Note, there is an unavoidable issue in this position. If upgrading only the X-axis on Neptune 4 and Neptune 4 Plus, the auxiliary fan assembly will interfere with the POM wheels on the Z-axis. It is necessary to file down or cut off a small portion, about 1 mm, of the auxiliary fan assembly to allow for proper assembly. Please exercise caution when performing this operation. If upgrading both the X and Z axes on Neptune 4 and Neptune 4 Plus, there will be no such issue, and normal assembly is possible. Neptune 4 Max does not have this issue and can be assembled normally. Rotate the timing belt adjuster to adjust the tension of the timing belt to the appropriate level. Plug in the auxiliary fan connection cable and nozzle cable at their designated positions. The upgrade is now complete. After re-leveling the machine, please refer to the official tutorial. You can proceed with printing. Thank you.